Good morning, everybody. My name is Derek, and welcome to the Tiny Raptor Farm. Everybody, I'm back. Today's video is going to be solely about Jersey Giant chickens. I'm going to give you a little bit of history behind them and I'm going to tell you what we do to take care of them and how they can benefit you and your family and your homestead. The Jersey Giant breed originated in New Jersey and eastern Pennsylvania in the late 1800s. In 1895, farmers referred to this breed as Giants. John and Thomas Black from Burlington County, New Jersey's flock had such an influence on the breed that it became known as Black Giants even though black was not the only color they came in. In 1917, Dexter P. Uffham, a breeder in Belmar, New Jersey, added Jersey to the name, calling them Jersey Black Giants until 1947 when the white color was standardized then the breed came known simply as the Jersey Giant. Okay, so the hens, they can get up to 10 pounds and they will reach maturity around six months. And they lay what we consider extra large eggs and they're brown. And they can lay around 150 to 200 per year. Now, <clears throat> the roosters, they can get up to 15 pounds and they can stand up to one feet tall, or two feet tall, excuse me, they can stand up to two feet tall and that is why they are in the number one spot for the largest chicken in the world. Okay, now this is the roosting thing that we bought or that we built for the chickens or built for the Jersey Giants, but I didn't do research before I did it and I found out that the chickens will roost up to four feet high and um, like any other chicken, if they get up that high and they get spooked or whatever, then they have a tendency to want to jump straight off of it instead of climbing down. And the Jersey Giant chicken is so massive that if they jump down, they can end up breaking a foot or a leg or their back or something. So my suggestion is what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, uh, not today, but I'm going to build a... Uh, roosting places for them all around the bottom of the coop and I'm only going to make it about two feet tall and I'm going to have two two different levels one at one foot and one at two another one at two foot so that way that'll kind of uh, deter them from wanting to jump from so high and they won't be up so high so that way they won't get hurt okay so now to answer a question of why Jersey Giant chickens? Why not any other meat chicken? Well, because this, well, let me get a good shot of them. This chick, these chickens right here, these are Cornish cross chickens. Now, they get up to, the roosters get to six pounds and the hens can get up to five pounds. But for some reason, the way they were bred, they, once they gain that weight, on them they they're not able to, to reproduce and um, sometimes they'll or well most of the time they'll just sit down when they get too tired or their muscles get too weak or they get too heavy to carry their own weight then they'll sit down now um, the Jersey Giant they're bred for meat and they are bred for laying eggs at the same time so the reason they call them dual purpose is because of the meat, because of the eggs, and you can incubate the eggs and it just keeps keeps going and going and going. You'll never have to buy any more uh, of the meat chickens. So 
this is why we bought them is because of this specific reason you know we're we're going to get rid of all of these other egg layers and stuff that we have and because really they're only good for laying eggs and their meat is very small it's it's not it's almost not worth it trying to process one of the egg laying chickens um now we have like seven or eight other uh, breeds of these egg layers but uh, we won't use their meat because when I mean, we have we've we've used their meat we've processed them and there's some in the freezer but you know it's almost to the point where it's not worth it because their meat is so little um, but this is why we got this because you know we're trying to become self-sufficient and we want it to be to where we never have to step foot in a grocery store ever again and we are slowly getting to that point and I pray to God that we continue and eventually we're gonna get uh, probably a couple cows and a few pigs and we've been thinking about goats but we probably won't go goats because I don't know we just not happy with the with as far as goats go you know they're we're not a goat milk people and you know, I heard, now this is just speculation, I don't know, I've just heard that the goat meat wasn't very good, but, you know, I haven't tried it, so I can't knock it until I do. So, that is why we have Jersey Giant chickens, and why we are getting rid of these guys and these guys. Because they, those Jersey Giant chickens could do everything that we need, so we don't need all of these extra breeds. We just need one breed, so Jersey Giant chicken, that's all we need. Okay, everybody, this is where we're going to end the video. I thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and the share button, and comment below if you like the new format of my video, and also comment below if you found this video informative, and if it's going to help you in the future. And don't forget that chickens are a gateway drug to a homestead. I love you and I thank you for tuning in and we will talk to you next time. everybody I'm in our bathroom right now you see all our jar and stuff we got right here but we didn't get much sleep the other night for a specific reason and this is why look at all of them there is nine total and three of them three of the orange ones are female orange tabbies which is they're what i heard are extremely rare but that's why we didn't get to sleep the other night i just want to stop and share that with y'all